Hi, so for today, we're going to talk about evaluating limits at infinity. This is still a part of a differential calculus video. And for today's video, we're going to solve some problems, uh, some problems evaluating limits at infinity. So let's get started. So the number one rule that we are going to consider here is that if we are given a polynomial such as a quotient polynomial here, uh, just like this first example, what are we going to do is actually we're going to look at the highest degree of x, okay? If we are evaluating at, at, from x as x approaches to a certain uh, positive infinity, okay, or negative infinity. So, we're going to look at the highest degree, okay? And we're going to factor it out, okay? on both the numerator and the denominator because okay what will happen is that if we are going to su substitute this directly infinity in our function what will happen we have infinity plus 3 and we have infinity squared plus 5 times infinity plus 6 and we know that this would be infinity over infinity which is an indeterminate form Okay, so that is not equal to 1. So we are going to avoid that. Same as if we evaluate a limit that has a 1 over 0 that's undefined. Okay, so we are going to, uh, as much as possible, avoid this answer. Okay, because this is indeterminate. Okay, so what are we going to do here instead? Instead, we are going to look at the... Uh, highest denominator present a uh, highest degree of x present in the denominator so what are we going to do as we can see here we have the limit of x plus 3 over x squared plus 5x plus 6 as x approaches positive infinity now i am talking about the x squared okay because that is the highest degree of x appearing in the denominator so what are we going to do? We're going to factor it okay, on both the numerator and the denominator. So we have x squared here okay, over x squared here. So if we do that on the denominator first, x squared, we have simply 1. okay, And we have plus, since we're going to factor out x squared here, we only have a present x here. I can say that that should be 5 over x so that if I'm going to multiply x squared, okay, distribute the x squared in this term, we will still be having 5x. And of course, we have plus 6 over x squared. Such that if I'm going to multiply this, that would be x squared here. If I'm going to multiply, distribute this onto the second term, we have 5x squared over x, which is simply over, uh, which is simply equal to 5x. And if I'm going to distribute this on the last term, so we have 6x squared over 6x squared, or 6x squared over x squared, the x squared will cancel, and we will be having 6. So technically speaking, this is this term is equal to this. Okay? And the same goes for the numerator. Okay? What we're going to do is to factor out some x. So that would be 1 over x okay? plus 3 over x squared. Okay? So, if, I'm dis if I distribute x squared here, x squared over x is still x, okay? And if I'm going to distribute this x squared onto the second term, I I'll still be getting 3, okay? So, that's how we uh, evaluate limits at infinity. The very first step, again, is to look for the highest degree in the denominator, then factor it out both on the numerator and the denominator. So, what are we going to do next? Okay. Next thing that we're going to do, we can see here that this x squared would simply cancel. Okay. So we are left with the limit as x approaches infinity of the 1 over x plus 3 over x squared over 1 plus 5 over x plus 6 over x squared. Okay. And if we are going to evaluate, okay, Simply substitute the, the positive infinity or the infinity here. We have 1 over infinity plus 1 over infinity squared over 1 plus 5 over infinity plus 6 over infinity squared. 
And if we are going to divide a certain uh, real number into infinity, it approaches 0. So, simply 1 over infinity would now be equal to 0. So, that's what we are going to have. So, 1 over infinity is 0. Plus 1 over infinity squared, that is still equal to 0. Over 1 plus 5 over infinity, that is 0. Plus 6 over infinity squared plus 0. So what I'm going to do, we have an answer that is 0 over 1, which is technically equal to 0. Okay? That is the answer for our first problem. Okay, let's go now to our second example. For our second example, we have find the limit. Limit of uh, x squared plus 5x plus 6 over x plus 1. x plus 1 as x approaches the positive infinity. So again, we have here a polynomial and a quotient. So we have, we can factor out x in here because that's the greatest appearing or has a degree in the denominator, a degree of 1. So if I'm going to factor out x here, we would simply have x, okay, times x, that is x squared, so plus 5, okay, plus 6 over x, such that if I'm going to multiply this, this is equal to this, okay, we compensated uh, 1 over x here because this term does not have any x, okay, so, and again, I can factor out x here, and I have 1 plus 1 over x here. Okay. So that if I'm going to multiply this, distribute, this would be x plus x over x, which is simply 1. Okay. So as we can see here, these two x's in the numerator and in the denominator would cancel out. And we are left with x plus 5 plus 6 over x over 1 plus 1 over x. And we can now substitute the value of infinity. We have positive infinity plus 5 plus 6 over positive infinity over 1 plus 1 over positive infinity. And we know that this would turn out to be equal to 0. All right? This also would be 0. So what will happen here now is that we have infinity plus 5 or positive infinity plus 5 over 1. So infinity plus 5 would be infinity over 1. So infinity over 1 would be positive infinity. Okay, and that's our answer for this problem. Okay, let's try again another problem. So for number 3, how about we find the limit of x over x squared plus 5 as x approaches the positive infinity. Okay, so again, we're going to look at the highest, okay, order or degree, I mean the degree of x in the denominator, and that is x squared. So if that is x squared, I can factor out x squared on both the numerator and the denominator. Okay? Factoring out x squared here, we have 1 over x, such that if I'm going to multiply this, this would be equal to x. And then we have 1 plus 5 over x squared. Okay? As you can see, these two x squared that we factored out would simply cancel. So what will happen? We have 1 over x here, 1 plus 5 over x squared. Evaluating that the limit as x approaches positive infinity, we have 1 over infinity plus 1 plus 5 over infinity positive infinity squared. And we know that the numerator would be equal to 0. And this would be equal to 0. So we are left again with 0 over 1, which is a valid, so answer, so we get 0, okay? 0 divided by any number, okay? Z0 again is equal to 0, okay? So we have this. Okay, let's try again. Now, let us take note that this, uh, uh, this is an introduction only on the limits evaluating uh, evaluating limits of infinity. So what I'm going to do here for this example is that I'm giving you examples that are really pretty much easy or basic to uh, solve. Okay, two x squared, six plus x minus three x squared. Okay, as x approaches the positive infinity. 
All right. So again, we are going to look at the uh, denominator, highest degree. So we have x squared. So I can factor out x squared on the denominator as well as on the numerator such that I have 2 plus 1 over x squared. Okay. And on the denominator, we have 6 over x squared plus 1 over x minus 3. Okay. So as you can see, the x squared again would cancel out. And what will happen here is that we have 2 plus 1 over x squared over 6 over x squared plus 1 over x minus 3 such that if we evaluate the limit of that as x approaches positive infinity of the 2 plus 1 over x squared over 6 over x squared plus 1 over x minus 3 simply substituting the positive infinity we have 2 plus 1 over positive infinity squared here we have 6 over the positive infinity squared here plus 1 over the positive infinity here and we have minus 3 as we can see here 1 over infinity infinity squared infinity cube that would be equal to 0 so this would be 0 this is 0 this is a 0 so we are left with the answer that is 2 over negative 3 or our answer is negative 2 thirds all right that is our answer for this problem Okay, let's try another problem. So for problem number five, okay, for problem number five, we have take the limit of 2x plus 3 over 4x minus 5 as x approaches the positive infinity. Okay, and again, looking at the denominator, we can factor out x from both on the numerator and the denominator. So we have x times quantity 2, okay, plus 3 over x, and for the denominator, we have 4 minus 5 over x. And as we can see here, these two x will cancel, and we know that 3 over x is equal to 0, and negative 5 over x, which is negative 5 over positive infinity, 3 over positive uh, infinity, is equal to zero so i did the shortcut in evaluating the limits so our answer would be two over four and we have one half as our answer as you can notice here that not uh not all limits evaluating uh pro if you are going to evaluate limits as x approaches infinity the answer is not only zero or infinity only it can be also a number or a real number Okay, a fixed real number as such as negative two thirds and one half. And any number, any number would actually do depending on the problem. So for number six, again, let's try to take the limit of 14x cubed minus 5x plus 27 over x raised to 4 plus 10 as x approaches infinity. Again, we are going to look at the denominator, I can factor out x raised to 4 here on the numerator, x raised to 4 here also on the denominator. Going to factor out x raised to 4, I have 4, right? I have 14 over x minus 5 over x cubed. Okay, because if I'm going to multiply this, this should be x plus 27 over x raised to 4. Okay, and on the denominator, we have 1 plus 10 over x raised to 4. Okay, so let's check. So x raised to 4 times 14 over x. x raised to 4 my over x would be x cubed. This is it. This is that term, 14x cubed. Then we have x raised to 4 multiplied by negative 5 over x cubed and that is equivalent to 5 negative 5x because 4 minus 3 is simply a 1 and x has uh, an exponent of 1 so we have x and finally x raised to 4 plus 27 over x raised to 4 x raised to 4 would cancel leaving you a 27 here on our term so again if we're going to take the limit as x approaches infinity oops this should be cancelled x raised to 4, 
So we have now 14 over infinity minus 5 over infinity cube. We have plus 27 over infinity raised to 4 or over infinity. 1 plus 10 over infinity raised to 4. And we know that the whole numerator would be 0. And the same as this. So we are left with uh, 0 over 1 which is technically equal to 0. So the limit of the 14x cubed minus 5x plus 27 over x raised to 4 plus 10 as x approaches infinity is equal only to 0. Down to our last example for this video. So for number 7, we have to evaluate the limit of 7x raised to 9 minus 4x raised to 5 plus 2x minus 13 over we have negative 3x raised to 9 plus x raised to 8 minus 5x squared plus 2x as x approaches the positive infinity. And again, the same thing we're going to do since we have the highest degree is x raised to 9. I can factor out x raised to 9 here. Okay. Take the limit first, okay? Limit as x approaches positive infinity. I can factor out x raised to 9. So we have 7, okay? Minus 4 over x raised to 4. Because 9 minus 4 would be 5. Plus, okay? 2 over x raised to 8. Because x raised to 9 over x raised to 8 would be simply x. Minus 13 over x raised to 9 over x raised to 9, negative 3 here, okay, plus, okay, I have 1 over x here because I, I have to have x raised to 8, so minus 5 over x raised to 7 plus, okay, 2 over uh, x raised to 8. Okay? Okay, so if we are going to evaluate this, we know that this would cancel simply. And what will happen here is that we are left with, okay, as x approaches the positive infinity, we have 7 minus 4x raised to 4 plus 2x raised to 8 minus 13x raised to 9 over negative 3 plus 1 over x minus 5 x raised to 7 plus 2 over x raised to 8. And if we're going to evaluate the limit as x approaches positive infinity, we all know that all of these x's would be uh, uh, replaced by positive infinity such that this would be 0, 0, and this would be 0. Also this, 1 over infinity is 0, and 0, 0 here. So we are left only with 7 over negative 3, which is technically equal only to negative 7 over 3, okay? And that's how we solve some basic limits evaluated as x approaches infinity or evaluating limits at infinity. And I hope you guys learned something basic in evaluating limits at infinity for today. So thank you so much for listening. If you are new to my channel, Please don't forget to, to like this video and uh, comment down below in the comment section and subscribe to my channel, UJ Abbott. So thank you so much for listening and God bless you.